Hello Mark here and today we're going to be looking at the Co-op Classic Braised Beef and Mash uh, Microwave dinner, there we go But before we do that, I want to answer a question um, regarding a couple of videos ago regarding the lime and black pepper Walker's crisps uh, Joanna Butler asked me to, re uh, to elaborate on a remark I made there's a, a, in there I just uh, I talk about a Billy Connolly joke about the ridiculous flavours that they're coming out with with products, in this case lime and black pepper but in, the, in his joke it was to do with um, avocado and walnut shampoo and the joke, she asked me to re uh, elaborate on the joke and uh, the, the joke was that uh, he, was re he was remarking how crazy it is like say avocado and walnut shampoo and he, he, he asked in his joke, um, what am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to, you know, rub it on my head or spread it on my sandwiches? You know, <laughs> that was the that was the gag. I'm, he can tell it better, but it was a long time ago, and that's that's pretty much what the joke was. Um, but it, it was pretty funny, uh, funny joke. It just goes to show how crazy that the um, the how they come up with these different. Um, Ingredients for stuff. It's like it's like I mentioned in the packet of crisps advert that uh, you know they must just throw throw names or words into a hat, pull them out, and right, that's this week's flavour. You know. Anyway, thank you to Joanna Butler for her comment, and this is like I say, this is the braised steak. And mash from the co-op. There we are. It's, it's their two for four pound deal. And it's piping hot. Takes about three minutes and then take it out, give it a stir, another three minutes or so. Anyway. Okay. But to, yeah, Billy Connolly better. He told that joke a lot better. Maybe you could look at it up on YouTube. But, uh, but that was the gist. <clears throat> it's just how mad the flavours again. Hmm. This is hot. Okay, right now to the meal at hand. I'm gonna. It's uh, right. We've got the mashed potato. We've got some braised beef in a gravy. I've given the as I was mixing the meat up, I noticed because uh, you know I don't like any fat in that. I only noticed one piece of fat connected to the meat, so I cut that off with a spoon, got rid of that. But that was the only piece of fat I saw in there, which is good because I don't like eating that. All right, we're gonna go with the potato first. And, hmm, it's not bad as potato goes. It's kind of, it's kind of dry, but that's fine. Not what I call creamy, but a very decent potato. Very good potato, very nice um, texture. The flavour is okay. It's just uh, just a little dry, but we're going to be putting this um, braised beef in here. All right, I'm going to try the gravy first. Mm. Yeah, the gravy is very good. A bit of onion in there. It definitely tastes of a it's of a meat gravy. Very nice. I'm gonna scoop a bit into the potato here. Try a bit of a uh, bit of both. Mm. The meat is very good. Yeah, the, the meat is very soft, very tender. I'm gonna try and uh, miss the top of my head there. Uh, a very, a very tender meat. It doesn't take a lot of chewing, which is. Uh, Normal, what they what they do, they manage to um, soften the meat up. Mm. It tastes like it tastes like very good beef. It is good. I'm going to mix it the whole mix the whole lot up with the potato. The the, the chunks were sort of a, a mix of small and large. The large ones I kind of um, try and cut up a little bit, but. Uh, all in all, you know, they're, they're very um, good sized chunks. Mm. Bit of a uh, bit of onion. Yeah, 
I actually think this is quite good. You know, aside from the, there's a very, there's only a very small amount of fat, like I mentioned. Which personally I'm not a big fan of. But the, the, the meat, the rest of the meat was great. The gravy's really meaty. And, uh, which you, you don't find, I mean, I've had, I've had sort of lots of bangers and mash from different shops. And you, the, the meat, the meat is sort of like got a, an onion in it. That's what they do, but it doesn't really taste of meatiness, you know, the, the gravy. But this is actually a meaty gravy. Let me have a quick drink. Ugh. Yeah. It's starting to go off the taste of this, to tell you the truth. It's the Car Caribbean Cola. It tastes a bit of aniseed. I mentioned that in my last vid. Uh, a bit of aniseed sort of aftertaste. Anyway, yeah, but all in all, I think this is quite a good meal. It's it's not one of the cheapest. I mean, it's the it's the co-op two for four pounds. But if you go to places like ASDA, well, pretty much well, everywhere, ASDA, the 94p, Tesco, Sainsbury's, Morrison's, you get them for a, you know, for a pound. Uh, not necessarily this, but you'll get lots of others. You get fish pie. Shepherd's pie, uh, uh, sausage, and, sausage and mash, um, chicken, hot pot, what, and all that kind of thing for a quid. These are these are two quid. But I mean, you know, if you're if you've only have a Tesco, only have a co-op in your in your vicinity, then you know it's good. Yeah, it's good value, two pounds. It's just not the cheapest about. But um, all in all, a very good meal. Okay. And, uh, okay, so I'll just reach out, the, the potatoes uh, kind of dry, but very good. It mixes well with the other juices, and that, that makes it, you know, it, it doesn't matter about being dry then, once you mix it with the gravy. The meat is very tender, very small amount of fat, which you have to cut off, uh, but that's not so bad. The meat is very meat, uh, the sauce is very meaty, it's got some onion in there. Very nice. Okay then, thanks very much for watching, and catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.